In this video, we're going to be taking a look at solving multi-step problems with fractions and mixed numbers. You'll need to turn your Go Math book to page 97, get out your math journal and a pencil. So let's take a look at the essential question, which is how can you solve word problems involving more than one fraction operation? So we can see right away solving problems with rational numbers. It says sometimes more than one operation will be needed to solve a multi-step problem. You can use parentheses to group different operations. Now remember that according to the order of operations, you perform operations in parentheses first. And if you remember order of operations, it's P, E, M, D, A, S, Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, so parentheses, exponents, multiplication, or division, whichever one comes first, and then addition and subtraction, whichever one comes first in order from left to right. So we can see the example one. It says John is cooking enough lentils for lentil bakery soup and lentil salad. The lentil bakery soup recipe calls for three-fourths cup of dried lentils. The lentil salad recipe calls for one and a half cups of dried lentils. John has one-eighth cup soup, cup of soup. How many cups of dried lentils will John need to have enough for the soup and the salad? So first of all, you can see you need to analyze the information. So you want to identify the important information in this question or in this problem. So John, we know that John needs three-fourths cups of dried lentils for soup and one-and-a-half cups for salad. This just, just helps you focus in on what you need to worry about with this problem. Also, John has one eighth cup of soup, and then you need to find the total number of many total number of many scoops of lentils he needs. So that's what you need to figure out. You can figure that out by just looking at the question. They need to formulate a plan. You need to come up with an idea of how you're going to go about doing this. So it says you can use the parentheses three fourths plus one and a half divided by one eighth to find the number of scoops of dried lentils John will need for the scoop for the soup and the salad. And then after you formulate this plan, and before we move on, why do I put three-fourths plus one and a half in here? Because I know that the recipe calls for three-fourths cup of dried lentils, the soup recipe, and the lentil salad call, calls for one and, a, one and a half cups of dried lentils. Why is it divided by one-eighth? Because John has one-eighth cup uh, um, scoop. Okay, so that's as big as a, of a cup of scoop that he has for the soup, not to be confused with the soup. So what we need to do now is solve. It says follow the order of operations, perform the operations in parentheses first. So the first thing you'll need to do, we can see here is add the three-fourths and one-half, giving you nine-fourths, equaling, as you can see, two and one-fourth. 9 fourths simplified is 2 and 1 fourth. Then moving on to this example, on the next page, page 98, we see that John needs 2 and a fourth cups of dried lentils for both the soup and the salad. Now to find how many 1 eighth scoops he needs, we need to divide the total amount of dried lentils into groups of 1 eighth. Okay, so we can take that 2 and, a four, two and 1 fourth, divide it by 8, if you remember, with dividing fractions, 9 fourths divided by 1 eighth, and then you just do the reciprocal, as you can see, of 1 eighth, 8 over 1, and then you can see a total of 18 scoops there. And then you have the answer, John will need 18 scoops of dried lentils to have enough for both the lentil barley soup and the lentil salad. So we've gone through all this, now we need to figure out if we can justify our answer. So we know that we've added three-fourths and one, one and a half first to find the total amount of cups of lentils. Then we divided the sum by one-eighth to find the number of one-eighth cup scoops that he'll need to use. Now let's take a look at one, number one, the your turn. And we'll do this together, so you'll need to get out your math journal. And we'll need to write these things out. So it says, before conducting some experiments, a scientist mixes one-half gram of substance A with three-fourths gram of substance B. If the scientist uses one-eighth gram of the mixture for each experiment, 
how many experiments can he conduct so we need to think about the different steps we got to analyze the information so we know a couple things that he mixes one half gram of substance a so you'll need to write that down he also mixes three-fourths grams of substance B so you'll need to write that down as well we also can see that the scientist uses one-eighth gram of mixture so you'll need to write that down and then we also need to figure out how many experiments can he can be conducted so we have that written out we need to formulate a plan now our plan first of all is going to be adding one half plus three fourths put that in parentheses and then what we'll do is we'll just divide that by one eighth so that's going to be our plan now if you remember order of operations you need to do what's in parentheses first so let's do that together so one half and three fourths we need to find a common denominator so that's going to be two fourths plus three fourths is going to equal five fourths. You'll need to write this down as well. So now we have five fourths equaling one and one fourth. That's the total amount of grams that the scientist has of substance A and substance B. It's a total amount of substance in grams that the scientist has. One and one fourth grams. So we take that one and one fourth. And what we need to do is divide that by one eighth now. Now we'll take that one and one fourth and make that into a mixed number. Five fourths. We're going to multiply it by the reciprocal of one eighth, giving us eight over one. And now we have five times eight. I know I'm coming kind of running out of room. Five times eight is forty. Four times one is four. And we can simplify this 4 into 40 gives us 10. Okay, so the answer we can see how many experiments can be conducted. We can have 10 experiments. I want you to write it down for number 1. So you can see how I used the order of operations, put parentheses around the two fractions, added them together, then divided by 1 eighth, giving me 10 for my answer. Now what I'd like you, you to do is complete number one all by yourself. And you can work on that now. Okay, you can see for number one, is the answer is 13. Okay, let's take a look at the essential question as we wrap up this video. It says, how can you solve a multi-step problem that involves fractions? What we can see here is decide which operation to use and then follow the order of operations. So this concludes the video on solving, solving multi-step problems with fractions and mixed numbers. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.